So my question is, what are the ethics of voice assistant technology? So while most people think about the beginning of voice assistants um, as being Siri or Alexa, those were actually only made in 2011 and 2014. The first one was actually developed in 1961 by IBM. They called it the shoebox and it could only decipher uh, 16 words and nine total digits. Um, but now there is many, many different companies that have been created with their own voice assistant technology that's been implemented into simple items like headphones, refrigerators, speakers, and the list keeps growing. Um, so this is a problem to so many people that now there is, there's so much technology out there that we are living in and our day-to-day -day lives are based on it. So we really should be questioning a lot of the different implications with this. One of the moral questions is, is it a problem that so many people are accepting the companies to potentially be listening to us all the time? So it's hidden in the terms and conditions that they could possibly be recording at all times. So that's, that's an issue to talk about. And also what if these companies use the information to tailor advertisements on our devices based on what you're actually saying? So I know that's happened to a lot of people where they're talking about something and then an hour later an ad shows up for that same product. Um, some of the political issues are, could these voice assistants be used for a new type of cyber attacks for terrorists to um, hack into us and figure out what we're talking about and different top secret people that would have this technology? And also, do governments and law enforcement have the right to use the information that is recorded on these devices to catch criminals or be used as evidence in court, even when people accept the terms and conditions but aren't really knowing that it's happening? Um, so a moral philosopher I chose was Paul Boghossian and his idea of moral relativism, um, where he thought that, yeah, there are different opinions on either side of a moral argument, and one person can look at one thing and say it's fine, and the other person can look at the same exact thing and say that, no, they don't agree with it, it's not right. So since we can't really agree on one thing, we shouldn't really have moral issues and questions, so he kind of viewed moral nihilism. Um, so in regards to voice assistance, I think his view would be that, yeah, people have different opinions on it, right or wrong. Um, some people think it's great. Some people think it's an invasion of privacy. But honestly, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. We shouldn't really be asking those questions. Um, we should focus probably on other issues like the legal implications and different kind of software malfunctions. That would be a problem. The political philosopher um, I chose was Jeff McMahon, so his ideas were on gun control, and his idea was that if one person thought something was dangerous or a hazard to them, that it jeopardized the safety and infringing on the rights of everyone else in the world, pretty much, um, to for have that one person, like have a gun, one person have a gun, one person thinks that it's a problem, everyone else is in danger, basically. Um, so his idea was that we should ban guns, not have any, and everyone be, would be safe since no one would have the opportunity to use them. But uh, in regards to voice assistance, he'd probably view it the same way. If one person thought that they were in danger from someone having a voice assistant, that we should get rid of them, um, that they would be a danger to everyone in that regard. And in my opinion, I honestly think voice assistants are a great technology, they're great ease, they make life a lot easier, and I think they're great to be used as long as companies or governments or law enforcement or anyone doesn't exploit them for their own gain. Um, so with people listening and tailoring ads to you, secretly recording, that's all an issue that I don't agree with. I also agree with Paul that yes, people all have sides of the argument, but I think it's an argument we should really talk about in weigh in the pros and cons. In my opinion, I don't think voice assistants are the best simply because people exploit them and it's something easily to be exploited. Um, so we should actually be questioning that. Um, in regards to Jeff's ideas, I think, yeah, if someone's in danger, don't be around that person if you have a voice assistant, if you think it's dangerous, but I, I don't think you should punish everyone if one person is uncomfortable or unsafe. Um, kind of looking at good of the many versus good of the few. So I think it's a great technology and we should definitely use it.